David Price takes on Dave Allen on the Dingley White beats Oscar Rivas undercard, July the 20th. Um, I'm looking forward to this fight. It's a fight that a lot of people have been talking about. A fight that, for me, is a very close fight. I know a lot of people have been giving Dave Allen the edge. I do think he is the slight favourite. But both of them are at a stage in their career where this fight determines where they go. With David Price, a loss of David, Dave Allen kind of shows you are not at that fringe level of European kind of fighting at big fights, in my opinion. And if Dave Allen beats David Price, well, he knows that he is on upwards and is really propelling himself into European level. Maybe Povetkins, maybe Cabiaos, maybe the Dubois. Um, and if he loses, well then... I mean, the loser of this fight is going to be a... It's going to be a... It's going to be a tough way to see who they fight. I mean, it's going to be really tough. Um, but, yeah. Big fight. Important fight. A lot for both guys to prove. David Allen, I've always liked him, and entertaining fighter. He just makes me, he's a funny guy. He's a, he's a good fighter, very powerful, very big. Got, you know, people forget this, but he's got a good amateur pe pedigree, uh, gold medalist. He's a good uh, boxer, he can box. He's got, a, he's, you know, he's just well techniqued in general. He just has a good technique. Uh, Dave Allen, very tough, very tough, very good chin, very durable. Um, not the most great work rate, but got a lot of heart and a lot of desire. And um, most recently, he's had a lot of good win record, win streak. So he's uh, he's shown to be packing a, re a, a heavy punch or, or, or looking to, to take someone out. You know me with, with my reviews, I like to analyze the last performances of the last guys and see what they're coming in from. David Price was against Cash Angi, very odd fight. Uh, we saw David Price. He started very slow against Cash Angi. Cash Angi was moving around, um, kind of winning most of the rounds, outworking Price with a good jab, pushing Price back. Uh, Price started to double up in, in the second round with a, with a double jab, pushing Angi back a bit. Um, I think Angi, the occasion got to Angi definitely because he was doing more than he needed to. He, was just, he just seemed erratic and nervous. And Price obviously always seems nervous when he gets in the ring, so he wasn't doing that much. Um, round three, both were just controlling with a jab. Um, no real change in the round four. Cash Angi tucked up in, didn't really take anything heavy from Price. It was only in round, the later rounds in round four or round five actually, where Price hit Kashangi with a big right hand and Kashangi holding on for dear life, eventually biting David Price and getting uh, disqualified. Um, what a weird performance, you can't really take that much from David Price, he didn't look that amazing looking at himself, he got the job done but he started too slow for me, he seemed too gun shiny, he seemed too, he fought too much and didn't use his, his, his natural advantages and his, his reach and his, his strength and his movement and his power because he hit him once and he already hurt Kashangi, so his power was really there. Um, so I was a little bit, I wasn't that amazed about that performance of David Price. Dave Allen, however, coming off um, a career best name win, and Lucas Brown didn't think it was that uh, great performance from Dave Allen. He looked in good, good, good shape. Don't get me wrong, but Brown just was teeing off for him in the first few rounds. Brown was hitting him with many shots. I mean, Brown was. I was shocked to see the speed Brown was hitting with Allen because Allen's head movement is non-existent. Well, not in that fight anyway. I mean, I know he's got a good chin, but it's not good to actively want to get hit. Because um, because Dave, because Lucas Brown was was clipping him in the first two rounds, you know, clipping him very much. Um, that Dave Allen took it, rode it out, um, was trying to establish his own jab. Did the occasion kind of get to him a little bit? I kind of think it did. Lucas Brown looked more comfortable, but eventually um, got hit with a good body shot from Dave Allen. And um, yeah, dropped him, and that's all she wrote. Good, good win for Dave Allen. Again, I don't think he looked particularly amazing, but he got the job done. And the same with David Price, which makes this fight even more interesting because I feel like it's going to be a barn burner. How does David Price win? He needs to work the body; is vital early on. Uh, David, David Allen, he needs. He, yeah, David Price needs to work the body of David Allen. Um, David Price. He needs to start fast, um, very fast. I don't know why he starts. He started slow against um, Kashangi, maybe because there was a bit of a tension, a bit of a um, a lot of uh, things thrown in, and a lot of controversy when they were talking to each other and, and, and hyping the fight. 
But in this fight, he definitely needs to start fast because Dave Allen is a slow starter, a very slow starter. And we saw against Lucas Brown, he can get hit early in the first couple of rounds. So David Price, I think his best chance is obviously what a lot of people feel is the first few rounds. But I think particularly in this fight, he needs to start fast and uh, hurt Dave Allen, in my opinion, to the body and head. He needs to be first with a jab, natural height advantage and reach. He just needs to be first. If he's going to try and if he gets hurt, if he gets wobbly, he needs to just control the jab. And because uh, David David Price, don't get, don't, get, don't get me wrong, is a much better boxer than compared to Dave Allen. Dave Allen is very poor te technically, very poor. I mean, he even throws the overhand right poor, you know. So uh, I, I've never rated Dave Allen's boxing ability. I think it's terrible. Um, and I think Dave Allen, David Price has the much better skills, so he should use them. Move his head, and it's that overhand right and that, and that straight right hand that should be able to catch Dave Allen, which David Price needs to use. In terms of Dave Allen, he needs to establish a jab. Going back to boxing basics. Um, oh yeah, also with David Price, sorry, I forgot to mention. Dave Allen seems to be very vulnerable to the uppercut. Ortiz hit him with a lot of uppercuts. Um, Yoko hit him with a lot of uppercuts. And uh, Lucas Brown hit him with a lot of uppercuts. It was going through. So, um, and David Price has been known to have a good uppercut anyway. So that will be a very key punch in this fight. I'm telling you that for sure. Um... But for David Allen, he needs to hurt David Price early, intimidate him, really push the pace, uh, make Dave Allen, David Price uncomfortable, really make the pace high. He needs to be fit for this because if it does go a couple rounds, he wants to see David Price tired. So he needs to be hitting into the body, head quick and starting fast and going in fast. Jab one, two. Um, and, and, and basically landing on David Price. And uh, that is his main thing for really David, David Allen. He needs to keep going. You know, he can go on for 12 rounds, but he needs to, for once, put on a tight pace and he needs to be controlling it. Uh, it's going to be a good fight. I'm, I think this is going to be a very good fight. I think it's going to be a fight that's not going to last that long, uh, particularly because both guys are in... Uh, this fight is a really crossroad fight. It's, it's really in, important for both guys going forward, um, winning in this fight. I think... Good smart money would say David Dave Allen, and I think a lot of smart guys would be picking Dave Allen. But for some random reason, I just feel like David Price is gonna shock the world and knock down at least. Maybe knock, maybe not even knock out. He probably can knock out. I think he just did. He can knock Dave Allen out. But Dave Allen is a very tough, durable guy, and even if he gets dropped for the first time on the canvas, I do feel that he needs to. Um, I don't see Dave Price jumping on him because he's just not that kind of guy. But I can see Dave Dave Price dropping Dave Allen, giving him a wobble. But I'm going to predict... You know what? I'm going to just go for it. I'm going to predict David Price, fifth round stoppage of David Allen. I think he's going to stop Dave Allen in the fifth round and um, potentially drop him. It's a bold prediction. But I just feel like something's telling me in my head that David Price is going to step up in this fight and, 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 and show that he can outmaneuver Dave Allen. But let, let me know what you guys think. It's going to be a good fight. I'm looking forward to this fight. And uh, yeah, it's looking like a good card next week. I'm looking forward to it. I'm out.